Today we're going to have a look at our stainless steel pigtail siphons. Now you can see a selection here. We've got them from a quarter inch, three eighth up to half inch. They're bent out of Schedule 8316L stainless steel pipe. And we use 316L because we uh, you don't get the brittle corrosion that sometimes happens in 316 because it's a low carbon content. So this is the pigtail here by itself. You can see in, in these combinations, we've put on a, an isolating ball valve, sometimes known as a gauge cock, and then a gauge. Uh, we've got a few different gauges that we've used here. This one, we've just used a 63 mil stainless steel liquid filled with a uh, brass internal entry, and then we move up to 100 and 150 with all stainless. Uh, we'll show you why we use uh, this configuration here with the uh, gauge cock or isolating ball valve, and then the gauge. Uh, the idea behind a pigtail siphon, if you look over here, is they're really used in steam. And, and they're used in steam because you want to protect your pressure gauge from uh, extreme heat that you get from steam. So the idea is your, your steam is flowing through your steam line here and it'll come up into your pigtail siphon. And the thing about steam is it'll give off heat with what it's touching and to its environment around it and then it will condensate. So this bend here will fill up with condensate. Much like your waste trap uh, in your bathroom. Now, pressure can get through here still, so you'll still get an accurate line pressure, but what you won't get is the full temperature of what are that steam. So if it's a 10 bar, maybe 180 degrees, you won't then get 180 degrees on your gauge here because it's protected by this condensate sitting in here. So pressure will still go through. You can still read the pressure on your gauge. And you may wonder why we have a, uh, a ball valve here. Uh, there's two reasons, because A, you can isolate it, so if you're not using the gauge, you don't have to keep it on all the time, it will protect the gauge further. And if you ever need to change the gauge out, because this pigtail siphon has no moving parts, it will last a very long time, chances are your gauge will go before it. You can isolate the ball valve, you can take your gauge out, and then you're not having to close your main line. As you'll have steam going to the atmosphere, it'll be stopped here at this isolation ball valve. Have any questions? Stainless steel is particularly good for the corrosion on there. Is there other alternatives for, for the metal, or is that the best? It's a good point. You can get uh, you can get these pigtail siphons in in different materials. We chose stainless steel because uh, it's, it's a higher spec, but you can get them in in carbon steel and things like that. Uh, we use three one six L as we as we mentioned. It's a low carbon content three one six. You you won't get that. Uh, Sometimes in steam you can, especially with the seam weld pipe, with 316 you can get a little bit of brittleness around the weld. Um, but here we use 316L, it's, it's much better. So yes, you can get other, other kinds of materials. Uh, they do the same job. We just go with stainless steel.